Good morning, y'all. I look like a thumb. <laughs> but it's time for me to get ready for Innovative Income Summit. Woohoo! Tell about the uh, first trip. I feel good about it. I'm excited to like see Tampa. Since I've been to Florida so many times, but never Tampa. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be cool. And I'm so excited for this conference. What's the name of the conference? It's called Innovative Income Summit. And it's all about getting unstuck, finding your purses, being a badass, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. So I'm excited. And I'm definitely going to link the conference info in the description box. Good morning, my loves. Okay, we are back. We are ready for innovative income. I'm excited. I'm ready to meet like some new people, potential new friends, maybe even business partners. <laughs> there is a bakery down the block, La Segunda Bakery, literally just a few blocks away because I don't believe that they have breakfast at this event, but so I'm just gonna grab something real quick. I'm also gonna grab a little coffee. Maybe they have, good morning. Maybe they have like iced coffee or something because yeah girl, it's a, a tad bit tired, but y'all know I was out late last night. I was out to like, what time did I leave that place? I left like around 1.30. Cause I was really enjoying the music. I had a good time. And then I got, I got in, like literally got in by like 1.45 cause my Airbnb is only, what, like five minutes from the strip. Couldn't sleep. So I didn't fall asleep till like, like 3.30. So we're running on less sleep than usual, but I think the excitement, excitement is getting me through. All right, so let's see what Segunda has for me this morning and yeah, I'll check in with you in a sec. La Segunda Bakery is a well-known historical staple in the Tampa Bay area. This establishment has spent over 100 years baking the most delicious, authentic Cuban bread in the Tampa Bay area. They ship out bread all across the United States, including Texas, New York, and even Alaska. If you want a Cuban sandwich, this is the place to go. All right, y'all, I'm ready for day one of the Innovative Income Summit. I got this whole outfit from Amazon. The top, the belt, the skirt, which I love. Shout outs to Soap Slays because she's the one that put me on to this skirt. It looks so good. I want it in multiple colors. I will link everything in the description box down below. And my purse that C got me for my anniversary. I'll get a close-up of it after this, but this is by Brandon Blackwood. He is a black luxury bag designer. Definitely get put on to him. He's based out of New York City, which is my hometown. So you know I got support, okay? Black owned and you from the New York City? Listen, anyway, my Uber is coming. Oh, and shoes are from Shein. I love these shoes. I've been wearing them like nonstop. So yeah, y'all, yeah, I'll see y'all in a cab. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Stranded Face podcast. Before we jump into this incredible episode, you have to know that this episode is sponsored by our upcoming Women's Weekend, Women's Summit, our annual summit, Innovative Income Summit. This Women's Weekend, this circle of community, over 200 women will be in Tampa, Florida, July 31st and August 1st to not only celebrate and empower one another and create community, but exchange resources. Because when we come together, not only are we damage control, but we are truly everything we need within and with each other. So we're creating this space for you to heal, feel, 
dig deep, understand, and bring you business strategists. Some of the ones that have helped us scale and build our businesses, double, triple our income, will all be in this room for you. We created Innovative Income Summit years ago because we knew women were so stuck in a pattern, myself included, stuck in a pattern that we thought that our worth and our ability to achieve financial freedom was stuck in someone telling us our level of experience, hitting this 10 year mark, an ex, a partner, a spouse, our father, a director, a business owner, our manager, our boss, telling us what we were worth, dictating our worth for us. And ladies, we are here to tell you through the power of this event, that you have the ability to determine and dictate your own worth. You get to level you up now and you have everything you need within. And if not, you have incredible women around you and we're gonna put them all in one room for this summit. On top of that, we are going to have so much fun. We have so many activities planned, so many great people coming to speak to you, people that we've used on our own journeys. And so you have to be in this room. The event is almost sold out. I want you to come hang out with us in Tampa, Florida. I can't wait to see you there and I can't wait to give you a big ass hug. Make sure you grab your ticket before they are all gone. InnovativeIncomeSummit.com. All right, y'all. So I just made a new friend in the bathroom. <laughs> Introduce yourself. <laughs> Danielle. Danielle, and you've been here before, right? Yes, I came to Innovative Income last January. Last January. From North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea what to expect. I'd never been to Tampa. I came by myself. I knew no one. But I just knew that there's something in that room that I need. The confidence I needed. I was like in a very, kind of a low place in my right. um, And it really afforded me the mindset shift that I needed. So I'm back again because it was such a mindset shift that I was like, I gotta be back in the room. So my growth, a lot of my growth over the last year has been more internal, emotional, and mental. Right. How can you have a great business if your heart isn't right? If you're still hurting. Preach. Right? So, you don't have to be like a successful business owner. You can be a business owner. You can have want to have a business and it's not established. Or you can just be looking for a community of women that, that love, trust, and support. And that's what I found. Last year, I just want to Oh my God! Thanks for sharing, Danielle. I'm so excited. Thank you. I'm going to wait for a few minutes. Just get it right in here. I just thank you for the dreams that are going to be birthed um, in their heart. God, I thank you for this space, just that you are here and you're present. You have God before each one of these women. God, would you just bless them abundantly this weekend as they're here to receive what you have for them through all these speakers and just through all of the hard work that Megan and Jessica have done.
done you. I know that female has done you wrong before, but you need to understand that was the time when you didn't love yourself. Mm. That was the time when you didn't love yourself. Mm. That you are creating and manifesting the love you deserve in every facet of your life. Yes. You don't have time. You don't even have time anymore. You have businesses to run. You have people to lead. You have impact to create. You have all of these things and this purpose and the reasons that you were put on this earth. You don't have time to be shaking yourself. You don't have time to be the one to put yourself in the time in time out under the table. Yes. You don't have time. I always say this: God, the universe, whatever you believe in, does not put a vision in your heart that you are not already created to follow. You are just in process right now. It's it's in delivery. It's it's Amazon delivery. We just it's we just taking a little time. We just waiting on the delivery. You cannot. Manifest that thing. You cannot bring that thing to life when the person you're hanging on the cross is you. So release yourself first. Love yourself first. And when it's too damn hard, call the woman next to you. Call her. Apologize to her. Write her a letter and burn it. I don't care what you do, but she deserves life fed into her all the time. So when you don't have it, no offense, some of y'all got husbands that breathe life in you, but don't even give him that responsibility. Don't give him that responsibility. Give it to yourself. Call the woman next to you. Give it to her. Because this is the only way we are moving forward from this moment out. I knew I needed to go in. And I have people ask me like, why are you getting relationship coaches? Why are you why are you connecting with all these people? You just got out of a relationship. But it was so important to me to figure out how this happened the way it did. What did I attract? What do I need in the partner? What, what are my triggers and my traumas that have put left me in this place? And I want to make sure I understand me and I feel me and I can just the right way. And somebody shared a video with me. And she covers narcissist abuse and trauma relief. And the videos that she was putting out there spoke to me. I was like, oh, you can be connected with people that truly take advantage of their life and not know it and have no idea. Because raise your hand, I'm, I'm recovering, but it still lives inside of me. Raise your hand if you're a people person. Um, we're covering for, I don't know, it's, it's a constant thing. Too stubborn. Four years of infertility. Multiple rounds of IVF. Three miscarriages. Okay. Talk about when you're too much and you need to push through. And I had two babies after that. Okay. Oh, wow. I pushed through. I love research. I read like three books at a time. Because <laughs> you, you gotta find your tribe where they're like, oh my god, what? You gotta find your tribe that's like that. But that like two weird, that's what is allowing me to create these online courses and create my coaching program. And you might think this relationship or this business or this whatever is for you, and it breaks your heart, it breaks you down, and strips you down, and you're like, God, this doesn't seem fair. But let me tell you what, He will take everything, He will burn everything down. Because he is wanting to build something so much better in your life. So when things are going away from you, and that man leaves, or the church leaves, or the friends leave, thank you, Jesus, because you know what? Burn that shit in the ground, because he's creating something so much better for you. And if you are sitting there as a woman on fire, and you know your worth, and you know who you are, and you know your value, you tell me how that entire thing burning around you is going to touch you, and you become the fire. Okay. All right, y'all. So we are on break from Innovated Income Summit. I'm here with a vendor. I'm about to introduce y'all to her. Okay. Let me, let me flip the camera. Hold on one second. Hey, girl. Hi, girl. Introduce yourself. I am Elonda Styles. Shop Elonda Styles on Instagram. I am a online clothing brand that is designed to give you your motivational boost that you need. 
So we sell graphic t-shirts, we sell matching sets, and our graphic t-shirts are designed to empower, motivate, and inspire you to be the best version of yourself. So, I want to thank you, girl, for investing in our brand. Absolutely. We, when, we, when you invest in us, we'll pour into you. I love that. Yes. How are you feeling about the summit thus far? It has been amazing. I have met some amazing new friends. Yes. And potential business partners. So it's been amazing and eye-opening and inspiring. I'm actually looking forward to the next part. Me too. And I heard your affirmation too. I was like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> we're building brands and we over here, you know, finessing the world. Yes. Empowering and impacting the world. One woman at a time one woman at a time mm -hmm. make sure y'all go check out my girl Londa. check out her website it's in the description box yeah. show her some love black owned woman owned business okay period that's it i'm gonna leave all the information in the description box and i'm gonna show y'all my t-shirt that i got too that i really yes. like yes we're gonna feature her on shabby longa style yes so definitely. this is my girl this is a celebrity girl Stop. Yeah, um, she better stop. Yes, because <laughs> I was following her page on YouTube and didn't even know it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm with royalty right now. Oh my god, yes, girl! I'm blushing right now. I can't take this. I, I need is. to go. <laughs> I allowed something very traumatic to enter my mental space. Something very personal, traumatic to enter my mental space, and it completely ruined the weekend. When I say ruined the weekend, like. Y'all cried in the bathtub. Like, I left the event and cried in the bathtub. The entire time. The bathtub was the only place where I felt like I could calm myself. And the next day, I got in my life and made it to lunch. This next speaker is a part of our mastermind and I went to lunch with her. And the life she poured into me at that lunch, about taking my power back, about demanding what I want, about not settling, about people taking advantage of me, about demanding my work and walking in it and accepting not a single thing left. Less. <laughs> Nothing less. You want less, to find less. You have to believe you're a high value woman every single day. We got to combat this bullshit that we're talking about and walking in every single day. Right? Yeah. Every day. And that looks like resistance, that looks like balance. And that looks like in every room you're in, you bring an insane amount of it. Then it can come to the surface about maybe why you bring on. Um, I feel like I'm just too getting too nice, like you were saying. A few of these are recovered. Exactly. Oh, recovered. Exactly. Yeah. Like, do you feel empowered to take a step to kind of release these people? Um, yes and no. So one thing I'm, I'm, I'm ready for you to invite into your life is to consider the fact that some of the people that are not good for you don't deserve it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and if you think you're a rock star now, make some space and see what happens. Right. If you were willing to make some space, we are so scared to let those things go. We are so scared to let those things go. And guys, like, you know, being the tender, let that little shit go. Right? I got something massive over here for you. And I need you to let this thing go. And for some reason, there's something within us that feels like if we don't let, if we let this go, we're going to falter, we're going to fall, we're going to crumble, we're going to fall apart. And I think there's so many people in your life that are leeching off of this Yes. And using you, and using your knowledge, and your energy, and your everlasting, ever giving love. Yeah. 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 Yes, ma'am. So, feminine and masculine doesn't mean women and men, right? Just to start. Healthy feminine is being vulnerable, empathetic, you know, all those beautiful qualities of a leader, right, that we've been so shy away from embracing. And masculine qualities, the, the, the positive qualities of masculine is, you know, doing, um, determined, hardworking, all of those qualities. 
What we don't know is that when we're not in balance with our feminine, our healthy feminine, our healthy masculine, we go down. And the unhealthy masculine looks really ugly. And the unhealthy feminine looks really ugly. It's needy, right? All of these things that we, you know, and so it's important that this is a conscious effort that we all should do on understanding like this is a part of my everyday life. Like, oh my gosh, I'm being unhealthy right now. Yeah. I am in my unhealthy feminine, and I am being very needy. And how can I step back into a space where I am in balance with my masculine and feminine? Don't be ashamed. Like, just start doing things that are going to bring you more into that feminine space. Um, that feel good for you. I tapped into something that I didn't realize was still going on. My biological father, I didn't know he was my father until I was 13. A lot of stuff happened when I was a teenager. I had gotten in trouble. I had snuck my boyfriend in the house in the middle of the night. And my mother bursts out. She has a way of burning out stuff. She says to me, oh, it's not like you did this because you knew Jesse wasn't your father. Like, that's how I found out my father was not my father. For a long time, I didn't have a relationship with that person. I called him my sperm donor because to me, he donated his sperm to my mom. I've just been kind of dismissing it and not dealing with it with my mom. She needs a hug. And today, I realized that I need to deal with that. Yeah. So I just put up. Thank you all for the safe space. I knew I needed it. I never knew it was I didn't know I unexpected yet very touching moment of the summit. I think it's just a great reminder as to why we need healing spaces like this. People are going to try to shoot you down. They're going to try to shoot down your greatness. But here's the deal. As long as your purpose is bigger than your insecurity. Yeah. So when you don't want to do that Instagram, you don't want to do that video and all your friends are acting like you're crazy because you're successful, your purpose let it be bigger than your insecurity and you will not be stopped. Who mm. here was told when they were growing up that little girls are meant to be seen and not heard? Woo! All of us. <laughs> no. That's something I constantly replayed in my head that my mother said to me on a regular. I am not here to do that to my child. I've been dulling my life for a long time for the uncomfortability of other people. Mm. Yes. And I'm here to say that I will no longer allow other people's insecurities to keep me quiet. Because if you know me on a personal level, I am not quiet. <laughs> I allowed a former client to really dull my life a couple years ago. Social media marketing is not my background. I've done nothing but customer service and worked in the medical field. And I now handle social media and public relations for the best goddamn chicken place in all of Canada. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. This is today's outfit. I'm absolutely loving this jumpsuit from Amazon. It just fits so well. It came with the belt, but it was super cheap looking, so I bought a separate belt also from Amazon. Y'all probably saw me wear this yesterday. Wearing the same shoes from Shein. And yeah. 
This is cute. I have this in a size large, by the way. Hey, y'all. I am here with Jessica Hurley, one of my favorite podcasters, and also one of the hosts of the Innovative Income Summit. And I just wanted to talk to y'all for a little bit. Hey, girl. Hey, guys. I'm Jessica Hurley. I'm one half of the Innovative Income Summit. If you've never checked out Innovative Income Summit, you are truly missing out. Regardless of where you're at on your journey as a woman in life and in business, I want you to understand something. The world around you has been trying to dictate your worth, your value, your spouses, your former partners, your exes, your parents, your boss, your director, your level of experience. And we are of an era now that we can decide our value, what we want in life, and we can be the creators of it. We get to decide and dictate we are worthy. We get to decide and dictate how much money we make, how much financial freedom we have, how we can live a life of abundance. It is 100% possible, and that's what this event is all about, is helping women own and accept themselves first, believe in themselves like nobody's business, and then decide that they want to create financial freedom, decide that they want to create their value and their worth, and that it is truly limitless, and then step fully into it. That's that's what Innovative Income Summit is about. This is not the event you want to miss. Make sure you check it out. Yay! Thank you, Jess! If you have not already, you need to check out Jessica's podcast, The Stranded Phase Podcast. She uses her personal anecdotes and the expertise of others to help women get unstuck in their life and just figure out who they really want to become. So please check my description box for all of Jessica's social media info. Now for day two of the conference, Jessica and Megan asked us all to create an alter ego to come back with and let that be the person that we step into. Similar to how Beyonce has Sasha Fierce, we all created an ego like that. And so people were able to stand up and share their alter ego with the audience. Next time you go to a business meeting, there will not be a everybody There just will not. So you got to clap up for your damn self. Yeah. Yes. I need you to check in. I need you to come through today. I need you. This is who I need. I need to walk into this business meeting. I need to take this sales call that can change my business. Or I need to do something insanely uncomfortable. Check in on her. Every time you have to do something uncomfortable, something that you're saying to yourself, like, I, I can't do this. There's a reason I keep avoiding the system. There's a reason why I keep avoiding these social media is because it makes me insanely uncomfortable. They're all doing it. It works. And I do it. And I get three likes. Whatever you have to do, doing something uncomfortable, step into her. You need that energy as much and as often as possible. So the woman you felt like when you said that, I want you to literally encapsulate that for me today. Bring it in, hold it tight. And guess what? It has a different name, but it's literally you. It's you. It's you. You just exaggerated your already existing qualities and said, I'm going to be this all the time. That's not hard. It's already with her. Got it? Got it. Who are congratulations on your alter ego? <laughs> One of my favorite parts of this summit was the panel featuring women who had attended Innovative Income in the past and had done personal work with both Jessica and Megan, and they shared their experiences in the most honest and authentic way. So tune in to what they had to say. And I bought my ticket literally the night of. The night, like I had to be there the next morning. And I was really real about them. I told them I was in a dark place. I wasn't happy with myself, with my life, with my confidence. And I almost let that make me the unsupported friend. I went to that summit. Oh my gosh, if you were there, we were balling. <laughs> we, we were balling our eyes out. Long story short, from that summit to this day, I've increased my annual salary by 90.5%. Out of love, not out of being a hater. 
hater. There's a difference. Find it. Like, being just 
beautiful, amazing women inside and out, and you can't shine outside until you fix the ugly inside. Mm -hmm. And it terrified me to make friends with women. It terrified me to just put myself in uncomfortable situations, but I kept doing it. And I would just have my private in the car, I would break down on the phone with my now fiance, like, I don't know, I'm making it, I'm pull over at this gas station, we're not doing this. He's like, no, just, if you don't keep driving, like, you're not gonna get anything out of it. And that's the thing, that's why it's here after here for me, because I have to keep driving. The days I don't think I can, I, I've met amazing women who remind me I can, whether it's someone reaching out to me for some help, and I'm like, you decided to come to me of all people that help me. I love that. And I, I can put life into other people. And then I have people to hold me accountable. You need community to support you no matter what that journey is going to be. You need it. I don't care how hard you think you are, how much you think you can show up for yourself, how perfect you think you are. You need people to support you. Mm. We're a community, we're women, we're supposed to network, we're supposed to love on each other. That's our superpower. Yes. So That's our superpower. And I thank God every day, because I promise you, I would not be happy. I wouldn't feel like myself if I didn't have these women. You have no idea how much you got me through these past few months. You have no idea. That's how it is. Let's be very clear. Energy is what you have already created. This phone, your clothes, your car. That's all you. Congratulations, you manifested it. Everybody give yourself a round of applause. Now, frequency. Frequency is the creator energy. That's that divine light inside of you that God says, yes, uh-huh. I came here, I brought you. You see, you didn't come here as a rock. You didn't come here as a tree. God put a whole ass soul inside of you. And you came here with a team of light. In case you haven't been introduced to it, you and God are separate. There isn't some building or some place where God is and you're not. But my relationship with God wasn't like that because I was like, well, who would kill the mom and put the kid in the orphanage and then have the abusive husband and blah, 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 blah. That beautiful chip and story I used to like to rely on is like fear, doubt, wrath, right? And so for me, I was like, oh, no, that doesn't exist. Oh, yes, it does. And our team of life starts with that first incarnation with us and God coming together and co-creating everything that we want. There's no plan for us to fail. That's you, that's ego, that's edging God out. God's plan is for each and every one of us to fly as high as we can. He didn't say Beyonce, Kim, Oprah, no. He said you, and 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 everyone. So before you even attempt to create a sales goal, or attempt, to say, I'm going to make this, or I'm going to make that, or I'm going to bring in this, or I'm going to bring in that. You have to be in a place where you really believe it. Um, I have three kids, one, three, and five. I'm divorced. Okay. The other morning, my VA called me, and she's like, hey, I need you to um, send out this contract by 9.30. And like, the baby had a fever. He's got like, all these allergies. He was like having a massive reaction. He was like, climbing all over me, screaming and crying. And like, I was able to send that out, but like, continue to have my business running because they can help me set up my system so that I can I can kind of step away and be a mom when I need to, which is all the time. And then come back in and work is still getting done. So yeah. Yeah. I am worthy of having more than just a career or a job. I am worthy of having more than just a career and a job. I am worthy of a thriving business with massive impact. I am worthy of a thriving business with massive impact. I am worthy of more than just survival, but financial freedom and abundance. I am worthy of being a mom, a wife, a friend, a business owner, and a boss. I am worthy even when I am broken because I attract the support I need. I am worthy even when I'm broken because I attract the support I need. I am worthy of charging my worth and adding tax. I am worthy of charging my worth and adding tax. Yes. 
Because I am worthy of having more and being the creator and the validator of my own work. Because I am worthy of having more and being the creator and validator of my own work. since before I even started like bitch where's your iPhone where's your ring light we're here in the DMs ah! in the DMs I'm so proud of you I'm happy you. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 yes yes I'm in alignment I'm in alignment great things are coming my way great, great things, things are coming my way some of you all are selling yourself so short you can never go be at the pitch on 9 to 5 because your products are priced way too low. And the reason why you're pricing your products and your services so low is because you're desperate for a sale. And because you don't have that confidence in yourself and your business and you, you're looking at other people and you're like, man, if I don't put this price down to $20, they won't go either. You better let them go up there. Yeah. You don't value yourself. You're paying for the name. But because it's expensive, you feel different when you buy it. Because they offer you a glass of water when you walk in and wine glass, you feel different. Because it's $5,000, you feel like it's quality, right? Some of you all feel that even when it's not, you'll buy something and it's high as a kite because it's the feeling. So when people tend to spend more money, they feel like something is more valuable. It's psychology. The next thing is, get a logo that stands out. Please stop going to Canva and just using a logo that 50 other thousand people have already downloaded and used and changed the name and the color. Like this McDonald's look like anyone else. This Chick-fil-A look like anyone else, okay? The most powerful way that we communicate our brand is through our logo. When we see that Uber sign, baby, we be looking at the windows of the cars. We like, you Uber? <laughs> we know Uber, we're looking for that logo, okay? Look at McDonald's, baby. When I see that go in the arch, I just get hungry. Uh -uh. How many of y'all want some French fries right now? <laughs> Something about buying one of these just makes me feel like I'm about to get a whole lot of money. <laughs> I walked out this door, and the other day I got one, I was like, this is my money. I was just going to say, 1300 for this thing. This is my third one this year. <laughs> these kids, bad as hell. <laughs> but I felt like I was about to make some money. And you want to make sure that your logo is clean and functional. Screenshot this, y'all. If y'all ain't taking pictures, y'all missing out. Right. It should be so clean that it does not distract you from your message. I don't know what it is. This young lady right here with this blue one right here. I feel like she's learning a lot today. She gonna go home. She got that look in her face like, when I go home, it's over. <laughs> Jessica and Ronnie told an awesome story about a situation that happened when they first met. Jessica helped Ronnie out in a major way with her podcast. So Ronnie said, hey, send me an invoice. Jessica totally lowballed herself and sent her an invoice for $250. And then Ronnie sent her an invoice for $1250 back saying, basically, uh, send that shit back. Don't ever lowball yourself again. Don't ever, ever price yourself below your worth in the way that you did to me just now let this be a lesson for you moving forward and i just felt like that testimony was very powerful what i want you all to understand is mentorship is a two-way street yes oh. right i needed to show her her work by showing her that i saw her work i didn't know her <laughs> some people said oh this is another fan let me take advantage of this person because that's how they see y'all when y'all want to just throw everything you had at somebody for nothing because they have a little clock. And we are so willing to lay it all down on the line and do everything for nothing because someone has a huge following on social media. There are people out here that will leverage the fact that you are oppressed. And I want to encourage every single one of you all to stop being so impressed. Mm -hmm. Because if you can 
continue to be impressed by every person that looks like a celebrity or has a big following or has a blue check by their name, and you continue to do volunteer work. Yeah, because that's what it is. Never prosper. And let me just also say that so people truly care about you, if they don't put you in a room in front of a thousand people that could not see you,
even with all these things happening around me, I always had a vision outside of that, and that's what I hung on to. Even as a first-generation college student, first person in my family was going to be able to touch a million dollars. I was able to see out. And I think that's so important. Having a limitless mindset allows you to look beyond your challenges, your perceived limitations, and say, there's a solution on the other side of this. I gotta find a way to get to it. And that has really just always been my mindset. Initially, it, it comes from a place of survival. I was only trying to survive. And then when I realized, once I was able to survive, and I created a great life for myself and my children, I realized that the same coping skills that I had used to survive as a young adult were literally killing me as a successful woman. So I had to transition from simply surviving to thriving. And that's a totally different mindset. That's a totally different set of habits. That's a totally different set of beliefs. And I had to really abandon the beliefs that had gotten me that far. And they had served their point and allowed me to survive all types of stuff. Like when I look at my family sometimes, I'm like, God, you chose me. <laughs> You chose me. And I literally feel that way sometimes because I'm so set apart and I don't take it lightly. And I said, God, if you're going to use me to be an example, you're going to have to give me the wisdom to learn how to manage this. And that was the biggest challenge for me. Like, God, how do I manage this? Because the biggest blessing can turn into a burden if you don't know how to carry it. And that was the hardest thing for me. So having a limitless mindset is saying, what, who do I have to become in order to get to my next level? And sometimes that means letting go of who you were, even if that had allowed you to at this point, it may not serve you on that next level. And so always being open to learning and growing. And change is disruptive. It doesn't always feel good. It does not always feel good because sometimes you lose not just people, sometimes you lose pieces of yourself. Yes. You don't talk about that. You don't talk about that. Sometimes you lose pieces of yourself. And there's a grief associated with all of us. It's not just that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to let people that yourself go if they no longer serve where you're going. Yeah. And so be willing to do that. And every once in a while, take some time for something to say, you know, who am I? Who do I need to become? Who are the top five people I need in my life? What beliefs are serving me? And what behaviors are limiting me? Oh my God, y'all. I can't believe Innovative Income Summit is because there's so much more work to be done. But right now, we're about to go check out this cocktail bar. It's called The Gin Joint. I also love Italian food. I love pasta. I love sauce. Olivia, have you tried Olivia? No. Why do you have a list here? Please, you got a list for me. Yeah, I do. I have a list. Oh, I appreciate that. Hey, that driver was really nice. So we are back in the crib. I need to like rest and recoup and reflect on the day. Like, man, innovative income summit. Y'all exceed my expectations for real, for real. That really did. So, this is my last day in Tampa. I'm heading to the airport now. I've had such a lovely stay here at this Airbnb. My host, Ganja, has been a dream. She's super sweet. I finally got to meet her the other day and yeah it's really been great here y'all like my shirt i got this from innovative income from my girl elanda elanda styles due to personal reasons i think it's time for me to take it up a notch that's my mantra for the rest of 2021 taking it back up a few notches i will definitely be back in tampa because guess what innovative income summit is happening again in january 2022 i'm so excited if you have liked what you've seen in this video comment down below and let me know your thoughts and everything and if this interests you you need to show up for january 2022 seriously because there's nothing like being in a room filled with other women who are not only like-minded but they literally are investing in themselves investing in you pouring into you healing you in ways that you probably never even thought of you know what i mean it's been it's been a trip for real i want you to take a look at some of the testimonials from a few ladies i met at the summit after this so keep watching my highlight of innovative income summit this year was the speaker lineup. They were all phenomenal. They all poured in, gave incredible value, whether it was business tips, mindset, all of that. I got to work on myself and it felt really good. And I promise 
It's not as scary as you think. It's really good for you. Also meeting Gladys. Oh my goodness, we finally met in person. And that just brings back another point. Amazing community is available at this summit. It is a women's empowerment event with actual impact. So pull on up, there's a seat for you. You can sit with all of us. It was really important for me to get to the Innovative Income Summit because I, I love to empower women and I wanted to be around other women who wanted to build that sense of community. Um, and I've really been able to do that through the Innovative Income Summit and it really was such a phenomenal time, so much so that I've actually already bought my ticket for the next one. Innovative Income Summit was phenomenal. I was honored to be a speaker this year. Thanks to Jessica and Megan for creating such a wonderful place for women to make phenomenal connections, learn so much, empower each other, and really and truly understand how to create unlimited success for themselves. If you're considering going, I would highly recommend it. I am worthy of having more than just a career or a job. I am worthy of having more than just a career and a job. I am worthy of a thriving business with massive impact. I am worthy of a thriving business with massive impact. I am worthy of more than just survival, but financial freedom and abundance. I am worthy of more than just survival and financial freedom and abundance. I am worthy of being a mom, a wife, a friend, a business owner, and a boss. I am worthy of being a mom, a wife, a friend, a business owner, and a boss. <laughs> I am worthy even when I am broken because I attract the support I need. I am worthy even when I'm broken because I attract the support I need. I am worthy of charging my worth and adding tax. I am worthy of charging my worth and adding tax. Yes. Because I am worthy of having more and being the creator and the validator of my own worth. Because I am worthy of having more and being the creator and validator of my own worth. Yes. Woo!